Good morning, good morning everyone. Come on in. I'm not going to be long this morning. Come on in. Uh, we're going to be in just for a few minutes. Just wanted to come on in and encourage your spirit just for a few minutes. Come on in. Share the broadcast with somebody. This is going to be a quick moment. Um, just want to encourage your spirit just for a few minutes. So come on in. Share the broadcast with somebody. I thank you in advance for sharing the broadcast. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Like I said, I just was taking a few minutes to... Um, uh, invite some persons in to watch the broadcast but listen go ahead share the broadcast with somebody go ahead um, click on share share the broadcast with somebody good morning Marlene how you doing um, blessings good morning Pam how you doing so good to see you good morning Chantel it is so good to see y'all hope y'all in, um, enjoying y'all Independence Day some of y'all have the day off as police officers we don't have holidays <laughs> going to work a little later on um but listen i just got up a few minutes ago of course you all know we had the uh, parade celebrations last night so i just got up a few minutes ago um but this thing was on my mind and the whole on and the spirit began to sp um, um speak to me reference to being hidden and i just wanted to come on in and share some stuff with you um good morning nikhil how you doing and blessings good morning tyrone it is so good to see you listen i listened to you preach the other day man and you was on on fire you was on fire so continue um doing what the lord called you to do um i'm um, tyrone continue doing what the lord tell you to do and listen i watched y'all yesterday and i received that word guess what it was confirmation everything that you guys said to me was confirmation so so mr amaris y'all continue doing the work that god have for y'all to do i see so much in the future reference to y'all to you guys i don't know if y'all attend the same church i'm talking to tyrone if he's still here i don't know if y'all attend the same church but listen here god has some things in store for you guys he has some store um some things in store for you guys but listen here good morning to everybody good morning bestie how you doing good morning pauline how you doing listen go ahead and invite some people go ahead and invite some people there are some persons that i don't see online i didn't get to um go ahead and invite everyone so go ahead, do me a favor, share the broadcast um, so those that usually tune in can tune in this morning. You don't want to miss this. This is going to be short and sweet and quick and to the point. It's going to be short and to the point. So this morning, I just wanted, thank you for sharing, Pauline. I just wanted to come to you this morning. As you can see, I'm still in my bedroom. <laughs> just wanted to come and give you this this morning. So I got up this morning and the Holy I, um, Holy Spirit was just dropping some nuggets into in, in, in my spirit. And as he was... Was, I just was posting them on Facebook like you like I said most things I don't post but a lot of the things that you see me post it was it is only by instruction it is only by instructions and it is in to um, edify the body of Christ it is to edify uh, 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 each other so when I post something it is usually by instruction of the Holy Spirit most of the time and sometimes I just feel inspired and I just want to post a few things so this morning I want to talk to you about being hidden Amen. I want to talk to you a little bit about being hidden. And then I want to talk to you a little bit about process. And it could be a little bit, uh, uh, it could almost be the same thing. Um, um, but I just want to break it down a little bit for you to understand today. Because so much of us, we run from our process or we don't want to be in a place where uh, we are hidden. We don't like being hidden. Because for most of us, we want to share our talents. We want to share our gifts. We want to uh, be on display. Come on, it's a human thing we want to be on display hey marlene hey chantelle we want to be on display we want people to 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 congratulate us when we do something good we want people to see when we are doing well we want people to see us flourishing in our career flourishing in the things that god called us to but most of the time god did not call us to go into certain things before time listen here if you go into it before time it means that it is premature it is immature and it is not the time and the right season for many of us 
because we are walking in certain situations and we think that it is not our calling or we think that um, everything is going wrong or for some of us we feel like somebody have a hand in our, our, our demise or somebody had a hand in doing something wrong to us but in fact it is us not waiting for the right season to step out some of us while we were in our hidden season we step out before time and if you step out before time guess what you stepping out into a premature season so therefore uh, 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 what you give off it may look like it's not going anywhere it may look like it's not working it may look like that it's only because you stepped out in the wrong time amen I hope that you are getting this it only because it's only because you stepped out at the wrong time so being hidden is very important listen if you have a mango tree or if you have an avocado tree, whatever fruit tree that you have, those trees have a season to bear fruits. Amen. They have a season to bear fruits. Amen. Come on. Listen, bestie. Every tree, fruit tree has a season to bear fruit. Guess what? If you go into a mango tree in January expecting to get mangoes, you won't receive any mangoes. Amen. You won't receive any mangoes from the mango tree. It does not mean that the mango tree is not there. It does not mean that the mango tree is not flourishing. It does not mean that the mango tree is not lush and green and look good, you know. It's just that the mango tree is not in its season to bear fruit. Amen. It is not in its season to bear fruit. And guess what? You got to be careful when you are uh, at, at a particular place or at a particular time in your life. Even the people around you will be pushing you to do something. Why? Because they can see a glimpse of something in you or they can see some fruits in you. And because they can see the fruits, they're pushing you to come out before your time. Listen, you got to be careful with this situation. Share the broadcast with somebody this morning. You got to be careful with uh, 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 coming out before your time you got to learn how to stay hidden in God guess what when you are hidden in God you receive certain instructions you receive certain spiritual downloads that you wouldn't receive if you come out prematurely if you come out before your time so guess what if you go to that mango tree in January you won't get mangoes amen you won't get mangoes if you go to that same mango tree now within a season like around the summertime you come to that tree like in July you come in that um, um come to that tree and like in June guess what you're going to get mangoes I drive around here in Mash Ahamash Harbor and guess what mangoes are all over the place they all over the ground they all over the floor why because it is the season for the fruit to come forth amen share the broadcast with somebody this morning it is the season for that fruit to come forth amen it is the right season so therefore if you go around and you look around the mango trees are bearing amen you can now pick a mango and and eat a mango why because it is the season and for many of us now we don't want to remain hidden and when you are remaining hidden it is for God to bring you to a place of completion it is for God to bring you to a place of ripeness it is for God to bring you to a place now where he spiritually downloads some things in you that you will need to impart to others amen you will need to share with others so therefore if you don't stay in your season of being hidden if you don't receive all that God has intended for you to receive receive it's just like a computer a computer is downloaded with certain things man let, let me go to the phone because all of us have a phone you're all watching me probably on a phone right now listen here hey james so good to see you blessings brother listen it, on your phone, it comes, it, when you get your phone, it comes like practically basically empty and you have to download some apps onto your phone. Amen. You have to download some apps onto that phone. If you like games, you have to download some games onto that phone. It is a process. The phone has to go through a process. When the manufacturer build that phone, they build it with the capability of holding or, 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 or it have a certain amount of space to hold certain things. And guess what? It goes through a process where you have to go and download certain things hey tomorrow blessings good to see you it goes through a process where you have to download certain apps in order to put it on the phone in order to enjoy those apps this is the same thing that happens when you are in your hidden season when you are in your waiting season God takes time he already built you now he's the manufacturer remember we spoke about this just the other day a God is the manufacturer he, he is the creator of us all he knows the, the 
the, 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 the capability is he knows the amount of space that he that all of us has that's the reason why the Bible says he does not give us more than we can bear because he knows the amount of space that we have he knows that what we can when, when he start to download some stuff he knows how much we can take when some things start happening around us he knows how much we can bear he knows how much we can take so guess what when you start to download some apps onto the phone guess what you can't use the phone or you can't play games on it or you can't go on Facebook you can't go on WhatsApp unless you download those apps onto the phone and this is what God does in our hidden season he downloads some apps into us amen he downloads some spiritual gifts in us he downloads some things in us guess what if you are called to be a prophetess it takes up if you are called to be a prophetess or a prophet it takes time in order for God to download some things with you you can't just wake up today and say tonight you're going to be prophesying to some people listen here you it, it, it's process and so, so, so much of us we don't want to remain in our process season we don't want to be processed we don't want to go through process we don't want to go anything that makes our flesh feel uncomfortable we don't want to go through it why because the minute we feel a pinch or the minute we feel the pain or the minute we feel a little difficulty we want to run from the process guess what I want to say to you today hold on and stay in your hidden season amen stay in your hidden season I promise you that within your hidden season God is only downloading some things in you that you need to take you to the other season of your life amen I made some notes here and the first thing I have on this note here and what I wanted to say to you, and I think I said this one on Facebook, I said your hidden season will reveal who's really for you. Amen. Your hidden season will reveal who's really for you. It shows you the snakes. Amen. While you are hidden in your hidden season, not only does God uh, uh, download some spiritual gifts, not only does he download some things into your spirit, but it also give you a time of clarity. It gives you clarity. It opens up your spirit spiritual eyes it opens up open up your spiritual ears so you're able now to see and to hear clearly what it is that the lord is saying to you or what the spirit is showing to you guess what when you are in your hidden season it reveals who really is for you this is when you begin to see who are the true friends this is when you really begin to see who in your family is really for you this is when you begin to see who on your job is really your friend or who really is for you or who really um, um was happy that you get the promotion who really was um, um in your corner and pushing for you to get the promotion who's really speaking your name to the boss or to the supervisor this is the season where you find this going on if you remain hidden guess what it reveals to you while you are in your hidden season who is really in your corner guess what and there is nothing like uh, uh, being on a job or being in a ministry and not having people with you you have to remain in your hidden season so that that I, 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 for some of us, um, when God strips us, yes, I said when God strips us, we think that it is to, 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 to hurt us, it's to embarrass us, or it's to, to, to kill us. But I want you to know, people of God, that sometimes God strips you only so that he can take away some people, people from around you. Listen to me carefully now. Listen to me carefully. Sometimes God strip you in order to get rid of the tiger lungs, in order to get rid of the people that are just holding on to you in order to get rid watch this word the suckers you hear me in order to get rid of the suckers God sometimes strips you yes sometimes he takes the money from you hello Joey how you doing sometimes he take the money from you sometimes he takes the job away from you sometimes he take the car away from you why he strips you why not to hurt you but because when you had the car everybody was calling you for a ride they ain't had a dollar for gas but everybody was calling you for a ride when you had the job you always had money so therefore you always was taking them out for dinner you always was going out with them you was always going to have a drink sitting down going to the movies you was always doing something with them but you ain't had no time to listen to God you ain't had no time to get to church you ain't had no time to do what God tell you to do but listen here because you was around them they was just sucking out or because you are um called to be a prophetess you are called to be a prophet you're called to be a pastor and they know that you always have a ream a a a, 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 a word or because you are an interpreter 
interpreter and they know you can interpret dreams so whenever they have a dream they calling you hey minister hey prophet i had this dream so you sitting right here like a big fool yeah i said it like a big fool and you're always interpreting you're always telling them what the lord have to say but guess what them same people would never say listen listen yeah let me bless you with this hundred dollars let me bless you with this ten dollars let me just bless you with um, I'm, I'm just doing your nails today let me bless you with just giving you a pedicure today they would never be able to do that why because they only sucking on you the minute you you do not uh, do those things anymore you will watch those people start to drift away so guess what Within your hidden season, sometimes God strips you. He strips you not only to, he doesn't strip you to hurt you, but he strips you in order to reveal to you who's really in your corner. He strips you in order to reveal to you who's really your friends, who's really are, who really are your real family. A amen. He shows you, I mean, he shows you, he tells you, and because you can't see it when he shows you or he tells you, he begins to, to, to strip you. Guess what? If you don't have the money anymore, them friends, they, they, they bush crack, man gone, woman gone, cat gone, dog gone, everybody gone. Listen here. So sometimes when we are in our hidden season, yes, Pauline, in our hidden season, when you are in your hidden season, you think that God is punishing you. You think that God is uh, 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 trying to get back at you for the abortion that you had two years ago, uh, 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 for, the, for, the, for the two abortions that you had two years ago. Uh, you think God trying to get back to you because you cheated on your spouse. You think God trying to get back to you because of that um, um couple dollars that you move off mummy draw you think man listen you thinking back to everything that you did and you thinking that god punishing you for something that you did i'm here to tell you this morning guess what god is not punishing you he's just stripping you so that you that so that um uh, the tiger along and the suckers will fall away guess what the snakes in the grass you'll be able to pinpoint them you'll be able to see them hello patrice blessings he'll you'll be able to see them guess what he clarifies he clarifies your um 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 he um 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 let me say not clarify but he he gives you insight while you are in your hidden season he gives you insight amen and foresight so therefore now you start to see Amen. You start to see who are the pretenders. Amen. The great pretenders. You begin to see the pretenders. You begin to see people for who they are. Why? Because your vision is clear now. You're in a place now where you're communicating with God. You're in a place now where you're fasting. You're in a place now where you're praying. You're in a place now where you're in cons constant communication with God. Come on, people. Y'all know we went through this through um, when we was in our 21 days of prayer. You're in constant communication with God. And we learned during our 21 days of prayer prayer that once you are in constant communication with God, guess what? You cannot remain the same. So therefore, because you are in constant communication with God during your time of being hidden, guess what? Your eyes are open. Your eyes are open. Yes, I'm, I'm Patrice. The scales have fallen off. Your eyes are open. Your ears are open and you are now spiritually in tone. So you're able now to see the snakes in the grass. You're able now to see the leeches that are trying to um, um, leech onto you. You're now able to see the people that are around you just pretending, just just because of what you have or just because you always have a word or just because you always have a word of knowledge or because you always have revelation or because you always prophesying that you you you'll begin to these people will begin to drop away when you stay in your season of being hidden so god is not always punishing you not not let me don't say always God is not punishing you when he begins to strip you sometimes he has to strip you in order to get your attention hello michelle Sometimes God has to strip you in order to get your attention. Sometimes, man, listen here. We going strong, man, and we partying and we doing this and we doing that. But and guess what? One night you come from a party and you get into a car accident. It wasn't to kill you, but it was to slow you down. I was talking to my sister the other day, the other day, and I said to her, "Don't feel bad when you notice that you losing things around you, or when when the landlord say to move, or when you when the landlord say, okay, you got to go, or when people start to talk about you. Don't feel no." type of way yeah it may hurt and you may feel some type of you know you may feel some type of way but don't lose yourself in that because most of the time god backs you up in a corner so that you can put things into priority amen so that you can prioritize put things in priority and realize what is more important to you is god more important to you or is the world more important to you sometimes he backs you into a corner yeah you've been doing the partying you've been doing the drinking you've been doing the smoking you've been doing the um premarital sex you've 
been doing all of that. And he allowed it to go for a season. Amen. He allowed it to go for a season. But at some point, he backs you into a corner. And guess what? It is only you and God. So most of the time when God has you in a period where he has, where he has hidden you or where he has stripped you, it is only to download some things in you that you need to go to the next season in your life. Amen. So do not despise the hidden season. Amen. Do not despise the hidden season. And another thing I wanted to touch about that because you are in your hidden season, amen, because you are in your hidden season and, 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 and most people tend to take advantage or they tend to mistreat you or they tend to not care about you and they treat you common. Amen. They treat you common. Why? Because you are in your hidden season. Amen. Because you know something or because God showed you a dream or because God should give you a word for someone and he said not to say anybody to anything to them but to just pray for them and because you went through a season where you wasn't prophesying you went through a season where you wasn't singing you went through a season where you wasn't uh, 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 worshiping in public you went through a season where you wasn't praying out loud you went through a season where you was just hidden and you went through a season where friends fall away you went through a season where people who you thought was your family members who supposed to have your back fell away you went through your hidden season guess what um, uh, um blessings pauline you went through a season now where, where, where you just quiet, where you just shut up. And sometimes God himself will shut you up. Amen. I, I went through a, a, a period where I, I know I have the gift of prophesying, but I went through a period where God shut me up, where I wasn't able to say, okay, this is what God is saying. And this is where God was saying. I was dreaming. I was seeing, but I went to a point where God said, okay, that was it. That is it. Because why? They was taking advantage of the gift. Amen. They was missing using the gift. Amen. I, 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 they was just um, 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 basically um, using me as a prostitute. Basically, okay, let me just hear what she has to say and then turn around and go. Not even a thank you, not even a see it, nothing. Hello, Sheena. So, so, so guess what? Sometimes God, sh um, 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 while you are in your hidden season, he not only revealed the snakes, but um, he revealed the people that mistreat you. And guess what? You have some people that will, uh, 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 because you are not doing the things that God called you do right at that very moment they tend to treat you as a common for as common folk amen hello um 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 Renetta good to see you darling um they teach they treat you common they start to think that you are just another common person out on the street you're just another um 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 blow torch you just guess what they start to treat you common and I want to say to somebody today I have it here in my notes um they treat you common because they could not see um, um, um what you were carrying amen they treat you common because they cannot see what it is that you are carrying and guess what let me put this little pen in here most of them they can't see what you're carrying because they can't even see in the spirit oh my god did I just say that yes most of them they treat you common because they can't even see in the spirit to see who you are guess what most most of the time when you are hidden, it takes somebody with spiritual eyes in order to see what it is that you are carrying. My God, I feel this in my spirit for somebody this morning. Good morning, Javado. Guess what? Most of the time, people cannot see you that don't have spiritual eyes, baby. Guess what? If they don't have spiritual eyes, they can't see you. They cannot see you. So in this season, while you are hidden, if somebody sees you and they acknowledge you for the person that you are, it's because their eyes are open and they're able to see you spiritually most of the time most of these leaders they treat you common they treat you common they take advantage of you they mistreat you they tell you go sit in the back they treat you as if you are a nobody why because they cannot see what you are carrying amen a woman in her first trimester she may tell you i'm pregnant but because you can't see a belly you're like yeah right pregnant where because you can't see in her first trimester that the belly is there you thinking man you joking man you ain't pregnant so guess what you start to treat her just regular because you can't see that stomach but all oh, on that third trimester when that belly is huge you start to treat her different why you're more delicate with her you want to you know you want to make sure you open the door for her you want to be careful how she sit down you want to be careful what she eat guess what why because you can see the belly amen you can see the belly so for most people 
they cannot see what you are carrying. My God, I feel this in my spirit. Because they cannot see what you are carrying, they tend to take advantage of you. They tend to treat you any old how. I want to say to you today, baby, you are not common. Palm, light burn, you are not common. Chantel Crystal, you are not common. Tamara, baby, I want to tell you, you are not common. Amen. Renetta, I want to tell you today, woman of God, you are not common. Amen. God did not call you to be common. Amen. He called you to be special. He called you special. He called you a, pecu a peculiar per um, 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 people. Amen. He did not call you caring to be uh, 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 just a common person. Amen. He filled you with purpose the day that he breathed life in you. He breathed purpose in you. So therefore, there is purpose on the inside of you, Nikhil. There, uh, there is purpose on the inside of you, Pauline. So guess what? When he breathed his life into you, he breathed purpose into you. So guess what? While you are in your hidden season and your fruits are not yet being displayed, people will, will, will tend to mistreat you. Amen. They will tend to mistreat you because you are not attached to pastor, my, um, chief bishop, so-and-so. People will mistreat you. Amen. They will mistreat you. So I want to say to you today, remain in your hidden season. Amen. Remain in your hidden season. Let God be the one to platform you. Let God be the one to download some things in you because I promise you when God gives gives you the, the, the platform. When you get on that platform, you will explode. And everybody and everything around you will be like, who is that woman of God? Who is that man of God? Why? Because you stayed in your hidden season and you received the downloads. Amen. Guess what? A phone is worthless when, worthless when it does not have apps on it. Amen. A phone is worthless when it does not have any apps on it. So therefore you have to download some apps into that phone. Stay in your hidden season and let God download some things um, um, in you. Amen. So that when you burst on the scene now, when God now um, display you or when now God give you a platform, you're able to deliver clearly and hear from the throne of God exactly what he is saying to the people, exactly what he's saying in your spirit. So you're not clouded in your judgment. You're not contaminated in your spirit. So therefore now you're able to give um, um, to people of God what it is that God has rest in your spirit or what it is that he is saying to this to the people. Amen. What it is that he want to say to the people. So you got to understand that in your hidden season, amen, it is so important to remain in your hidden season. It is so important to remain in your waiting season. It is so important to stay in that season. You don't want to come out prematurely. You do not want to come out before time. You don't want to, um, um, people around you to push you to come out before time. Why? Because your fruit will not be ready, amen. Your fruit will be green and it will taste sour. So you don't want to leave a sour taste in people's mouth, but you want to give them the word of God straight from the throne of God. Amen. So stay in your waiting season. Amen. Those that treated you commonly, let them treat you commonly. Those that laugh at you, let them laugh at you. Those that say that you will never amount to nothing, let them continue to talk. Those that are gossiping about you even in the church. Those that are talking about you, gossiping about you, let them gossip about you. I want to say to you today, Chantel, that when God platform you, no one else can take that platform from you. No one can say guess what I did this for her I did that for him no one can take that glory why because it will belong to God this is the reason why it is so important to remain in your hidden season amen this is the reason why it is important to remain in your hidden season and not come out before your time because when a man can glory in what he did for you God is not getting the glory in that and God is a jealous God he wants the glory for himself he is the one that will be glorified when he platforms you or when he push you out into your season or, 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 or when you uh, uh, go ahead and you are mature in what it is that he wants you to do, guess what? It will be all God and he will receive the glory. Amen. He will receive the glory for it. So guess what? I want you to understand today, Karen. I want you to understand today, Chantel. I want you to understand today, tomorrow, that remain in your hidden season. Amen. Remain in your hidden season. Don't mind the folk that are treating you common today. You are not common because you are carrying a mantle. You are carrying a gift. You are carrying purpose and you are walking into your destiny. You are are not common amen you are not common guess what joseph's family joseph family thought that he was common amen joseph's family thought that he was common and because they thought that he was common they mistreated him amen they mistreated him 
because they thought that he was common, they took advantage of him and they mistreated him. Amen. And guess what they did? They traded him. They sold him to slave to slavery. Amen. They traded him to slavery. I want to say to you today, guess what? The persons that are taking you for a, for common or the persons that are mistreating you or the persons that are saying there's nothing to her. There's nothing to him. Just let her sit in the back there or just let her go and, and you know, go in the back and do something or just find somewhere for her for something for her to do get her out of the way get him out of the way guess what i want to say to you today you are not common joseph the um family it was his own family members that treated him um, 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 um horribly it was his own family members that sold him into slavery it was his own family members that thought that there was nothing to him it was his own family members when he spoke of his dream that laugh at his dream and tell him who the hell you think you are who do you think you are you trying to say now that we will bow down to you because they did not have spiritual eyes my god my god my god because they did not have spiritual eyes and they were not able to see at that moment what he was carrying they took advantage of him amen they took and this is for somebody today just guess what this is for someone today because your family members did not see who you are they took advantage of you they treated you like the black sheep in the family they told you all manner of evil they call you everything but the child of God because you fell down because you had a child out of wedlock because you went and you um, are, are shacked up with that guy they said guess what there was nothing in you you are no good you are worthless there is nothing and it was your own family members it was the very ones that are closest to you that are that said to you you will never be anyone you will never amount to some, to anything I want to say something to you today guess what Joseph family threw away their blessing my God shit it it Joseph family threw away their blessing. My God, when you don't have eyes to see, you will throw away your blessing. Amen. Somebody catch this in the spirit today. Hello, Makita. They did not have the eyes to see that um, um, their blessing, their promise, their purpose was wrapped up in Joseph. Amen. They did, they did not have the eyes to see at that particular moment. Good. Hello, Linda. That their blessing was wrapped up in Joseph. And guess what they did? They threw away their their blessing my god i feel this in my spirit for somebody for those of you today i want you to understand that the blessing is wrapped up in you amen that your the, the purpose is wrapped up in you amen you have the keys you have the keys to the door to set some people free so guess what because you are going through your hidden season i want you to understand stay in there if you got to cry cry if you got to holler holler if you got to pray pray if you got to worship worship if you got to fast fast if you got to listen Whatever you got to do in your hidden season, get it done. I want you to understand today. It may hurt sometimes. It may be lonely sometimes. But stay in your hidden season until God said it is time. Until God said it is time. Until God said it is time. Remain in your hidden season. It may hurt. Guess what? It may hurt. Guess what? Because I've been in my hidden season and sometimes it's hurt. It is hurt. Sometimes I look at flyers and I say, God, why? Why? Nobody asks me to speak. Sometimes I look at um, um, some flyers and I said, well, I could have been a part of that. Sometimes I look at certain people speaking. I'm saying, well, God, I could have been there. I could have been doing that. But God said, it is not yet your time. It is not yet your season. So we have to understand, people of God, it is hurt sometimes. Yes, it will hurt sometimes, but it is not yet your season. If it is not yet your season, do not step out before time guess what the very people that take advantage of you or the very people that treat you common, I want you to understand that sometimes they throw away the blessing. Sometimes you are right in their midst and they throw away the blessing. They throw away, they throw you away. They 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 they, they um exchange you for, for just a couple of dollars. They exchange your your gift for just a couple of dollars. They they carry you to this one and carry to that one and say prophesy to this one, do this for this one and do this for that one. They prostitute prostitute the gift. Why? Because they couldn't see the real thing that you was carrying. They couldn't see who you really are. They couldn't see that mantle that you was carrying. They couldn't see that one day you would become a great minister. That one day you would become a great prophetess. One day you would become a great pastor. One day you would become a great leader. One day you would become a great entrepreneur. One day you will own your own business. One day you will own the salon. One day you will own the, 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 the store. One day you will own the convenience store. One day you will own the grocery store. They could not see that in you. So therefore they trade 
traded you, amen. Therefore, they traded you and you were the blessing in that family, amen. I want somebody to know today as the spirit of the Lord says it in my ear, you are the blessing in that family. That's the reason they've been treating you like that. Guess what? Because you are the blessing in that family, amen. You are the blessing in the family and Joseph's family did not realize that he was the blessing and guess what they did? They threw away the blessing. You are the blessing in your family, amen. You're being treated like the black sheep, yes. You're being treated like the black sheep now, but I want you to understand that you're only being treated like that because you are the blessing of that family. Your prayers are the ones that are keeping your family together. Your fasting is what's keeping your family together. Your praying is what's keeping your husband still on that job. Your prayer is what's keeping your husband on that job. Your prayer is what's keeping your children still in private school. Your prayer is what's keeping food in the cupboard. It is your worship that is keeping the family together. So when they continue to talk about you, no, you don't start to talk about them. You don't try to go and get petty. No, you continue to pray for them. Amen. You continue to do what it is that God called you to do. Guess what? Joseph didn't stop doing what he um, 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 what God purposed for him to do. Guess what? Even when he was in, in prison, he still was I'm, I'm doing what the God what God called him to do. He was walking into his purpose and didn't even realize it. He was doing, he was uh, uh, interpreting dreams. He was encouraging. And guess what? He grew to a standard in the prison. Guess what? To the point where he was so well respected. Amen. So guess what? Let them continue to talk. Let them continue to treat you like the black sheep in the family. But you continue to walk into your destiny. You continue to do what it is that God called you to do. I want you to understand today that yeah, you may be um, mistreated. They may treat you common, but you are the blessing. Amen. You are the very blessing that is keeping the family together. You are the blessing that is keeping that church together. You are the blessing the, um, 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 on that job that is still keeping the doors open. Amen. That grocery store that you're working in, you are the blessing. You're the reason why that shop is not closing. That store, that, 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 that clothing store that you are working in, you are the reason why that clothing store ain't closed yet. Uh, uh, that fast food restaurant that you are working in, you are the reason why that fast food restaurant ain't closed yet. Yeah. So therefore, uh, uh, many people may, may treat you common, but I want you to understand that you are not common. Amen. You are not common. It is because of your prayer that everything is still together. Amen. It is because of your fasting that everything is still together. Amen. It is because of your tears late at night that things are still together. Amen. It is because of your tears, your husband's still coming home. It might be three o'clock in the morning. It might be four o'clock in the morning, but he coming home, baby. He coming home. It's because of your prayer. Amen. So let them treat you common, but continue. Continue to do what it is that God called you to do. Amen. Uh, uh, guess what? Joseph's family threw away their blessing, not even realizing that they threw away their blessing. Amen. They did not even realize that they threw away their blessing. So I want to say so, so, to somebody today, there is one thing I want to say to you where it is, where it is. Uh, uh, the true character of a person comes out when you are, uh, uh, when you have nothing to offer. My God. My God, the true character of a person comes out when you have nothing to offer. Guess what? When you can't take them out to dinner no more, when you don't have that little slow 50 to give them anymore, when you don't have no gas in your car to take them anymore, or as a matter of fact, when you don't even have a car to take them anywhere no more, the true character of that person come out. Amen? The true character of, of your family members come out when you tell them, no, I can't do this anymore. Or when you say to your friends, no, I am not going to the club anymore. Hello, Deborah, how you doing? When you say, no, I can't. I'm not going to the club anymore. The true, true character of that person will come out when you say, you know what? No, I choose not to use profanity when I speak anymore. I choose not to drink alcohol anymore. The true character of those persons come out. Guess what? Some people look at me all strange when I said, no, I'm not dating. A fella asked me the other day, he's like, can I take you out to dinner? I said, no, sir, I do not date. And he looked at me all strange. The true character of people begin to come out when you, let listen, when you lift up a standard, the true character of people begin to come out. Amen. So because I said to him that, um, um, no, I don't date. I, I, there is a particular reason why I say, I say I do not date. Amen. I'm a single Christian woman. If I go to dinner with Tom and then I go to dinner with Jack, then I go to dinner with Sue, then I go to dinner with this one. By the time the man that God has for me come around and he start asking around for me, guess what people can say? Uh, uh, boy, she, she, she went out with this one. Boy, she went with this one. She used to go with this one. She used to talk with that one. No, I have a character protect, to protect. I have a, uh, a, a character protect. I have a name to uphold. So I'm not going to be going to dinner with Tom, Dick, and Harry knowing that I am waiting for my husband to find me. No, I'm not going to do it. So listen here. 
So listen here, you have to be able to hold yourself at a certain standard. You have to be able to say what you mean and mean what you say, amen? So therefore, uh, when you are in your hidden season, amen, or when you have nothing to offer or when you're not going the way of the crowd or when you're not doing the popular thing, guess what? The true character of people will be exposed, amen? The true character of people will begin to, to be exposed and you will see them for who they really are, amen? You will begin to see them for who they really are, amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't despise the process. I want to say to somebody today, do not despise the process. Amen. Do not despise. Somebody put that on the screen. Do not despise the process. Amen. Do not um, despise your process process or the process it will bring you into your place of wealthy for most of us we don't want to go to the process like i said earlier the minute our little flesh start to feel a little pain or start to feel uncomfortable we we, we try and back out the minute we stop having sex for about a month and and, and and things start you know you know you know you know what has happened when you, you don't have sex for a little while when the flesh start acting a little funny man we trying to jump right back into it the minute you stop drinking and you got and yeah and you start having that thirst for that little um um henny or that little uh, uh, absolute you want to run back to that little absolute amen so guess what when your flesh start acting funny when 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 everything start going contrary we don't like the process we don't say you know what we start having those withdrawal um um, um uh, thank you chantel we start having those little withdrawal um, um 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 symptoms so guess what we start to dip back we start to fall back why because we don't want to go through the process we don't want to make our flesh uncomfortable so that we can grow in our spirit so the minute now we start to fast one day two days oh god I got to eat you feel like you're dying why because it makes the flesh uncomfortable I want to say to somebody today that sometimes you have to make your flesh uncomfortable in order to gain spiritually amen you have to make your flesh uncomfortable in order for you to gain spiritually amen come on uh, thank you Deborah do not despise the process you cannot despise the process you have to go through the process guess what it hurts but it's necessary amen it hurts but it's necessary you have to go through the process in order for a woman to bear a child in order for her to give her husband a child or for her to come and bring forth a child, she had to go through the pain. Amen. She had to go through the pain. You have to go through the process. In order to bring forth a life, you have to go through the process. You can't have life without the pain. You can't have life without the process. So in order for a woman to bring forth a child, she has to go through that process. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. But you have to go through the process in order to bring forth life. Amen. In order for you not to bring forth a stillborn, you have to go through the pain you have to go through the pulling you have to go through the pressing you have to go through the shaking in order to grow spiritually amen so guess what don't despise the process it will bring you into your wealthy place amen your process will bring you into your wealthy place amen like um, um joseph he had to go through a process in order to get to where it is that god wanted him to be amen you had to go through a process man listen Maki, the process is victory i'm telling you you have to go through your process process will bring you to a wealthy place amen how process will bring you to your wealthy place but you got to go through the process in order to get to the wealthy place amen another point i want to make to you process Process will bring you to your purpose. My God, my God, and this is a little bit of my message that I have to preach on uh, uh, at the conference. Your uh, uh, process will bring you to your purpose. Amen. Guess what? If you remember the life of Joseph, his process took him uh, 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 to Egypt, and then he ended up in prison. And when he ended up in pr in prison, he started interpreting dreams. Dreams. Amen. And guess what? Um, um, he interpreted the dreams of the baker and the butler. I believe it was and therefore because he did that they went back to the king and and they told the king what joseph did amen and because they told uh the king what joseph did the king then said you know what um listen part of i believe it was bring him before me so now his gift began to make room for him guess what his gift began to make room for him so therefore now his gift bring him bring him before great men amen the bible says your gift will bring you before great kings amen so his 
gift bring him before the king and therefore he was walking into his purpose let's say he was walking into his purpose so therefore the process the, the, the things that you got to go through your landlord kicking you out uh the boyfriend leaving you and cheating on you all of it was a process to get you to where you have to go in the future if joseph had known that the process was going to hurt if if god had shown joseph the process i bet you joseph wouldn't have been second command in egypt i bet you he wouldn't have been um 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 um, um, pro, um, um what you call it interpreting dream if god had shown him if God had shown Joseph where he had to come from, what he had to go through, he would have never been second in command. Amen. He would have never been second in command. So therefore, I want you to understand that the process you are going through, it is necessary. It takes you to your purpose. Amen. It leads you to your purpose. Amen. So therefore, uh, uh, the point of the point of the story is that while he was going through all of this, while he was going through the hurt, while he was going through the humiliation, while he was going through the lockup, while he was going through the situation. It was all a process to make him second in charge. Amen. It was all a process to bring him to where he was, uh, uh, to where he needed to go in the future. Amen. So listen here, your um, don't despise your process because it will bring you into your wealthy place. It will not only bring you into your wealthy place; it will bring you into your purpose. Amen. Is Joseph? If Joseph knew what he had to do to go through, um, um, he would never have been second in command. Amen. He would have never been second in command. And if he knew what it is that he had to go through and he would never have been in a position to uh, 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 he would have never been in a position to, uh, to, to to deliver or to set free a whole generation my god I feel this in my spirit for somebody if you did if you do not go through your process if Joseph did not go through his process he would not he would not have been in a position to not only free or to set free or to deliver a whole generation but to deliver Deliver his family, amen. Guess what? A famine came. He did not only set um 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 his um a um, generation free, but he also set his family free. Yes, the same ones that talk about him. Yes, the same one that lied lied to him uh, uh, about him. Yes, the same ones that gossip about him. Yes, the same ones that mistreated him and take advantage of him. Yes, the same ones that traded him. Yes, the same one that sold him into slavery. Guess what? God saved him for such a time. He took him through a process for such a time. So listen here, people people of God don't get mad when you are in your hidden season don't feel no type of way when you are going through your, pro your process because it, your process will lead you to your purpose and your purpose may just be it may very well be to set free or to deliver a whole generation amen and there are a whole lot of Joseph's on this screen today there are a whole lot of Joseph's on this screen today you are going through your process because you have to deliver a whole generation so I want to say to you today do not despise your uh, 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 process do not despise your process and don't uh, 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 and don't come do not throw a coming out party before your time or before the season don't throw a, a, a coming out party yet don't do it just yet God will let you know when you have to be God will let you know when it's time to throw that going coming out party amen stay in your hidden season go through your process because your process will lead you to your purpose amen your process will lead you to your purpose and your purpose may very well be to set a generation free to set your very own family free amen to deliver your husband to deliver your wife to deliver your children to deliver your um, immediate family you never know what your process will take you to so remain in your process amen remain in your hidden place yeah you may be watching everybody getting the um, um, um speaking engagements yes you may be watching the psalmist getting all of the engagements and you're saying but i could sing but i could preach but i know the word but i've been but listen you got to go through the process a mango tree ain't gonna be ready in january but a mango tree will be ready ready in july so remain in your place of being hidden until god releases you amen until god platforms you until god releases you remain in your hidden uh, um, place amen hey um bernadette how you doing it was a blessing to speak with you, uh, all of you this morning so guess what 
Before I go, I just want to pray a short little prayer over you um, before I go. Blessing. It was so good to see all of you. So listen, yeah, this was just on my spirit and I had to come on in and just give you guys this word this morning just to inject this into your spirit this morning. Most of you enjoying your holiday today. I just wanted to inject this word of encouragement into your um, um, um spirit today. Hey, hello, Helena. How you doing? I just wanted to inject this in your spirit today. So I hope it was a blessing to you today. Amen. I hope it was a blessing to you. So guess what? Do not despise your process. Amen. Do not despise your process. It will bring you to a wealthy place. It will bring you to your place of, um, it will bring you to your purpose. Amen. Do not despise your, um, um, um do not despise your process and, and, and do not come out of your hidden season before time. Amen. Do not come out of your hidden season before time. Blessings to all of you. Let us pray before we go. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on, somebody start to worship with me before we go. Amen. Come on, somebody start to worship with me. And you know how how we worship on here. Show some love on the screen. Show some like on the screen. Go ahead. Um, 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 type. Um, um, tap on that love um button or that um thumbs up button. Uh, um, um, let us magnify the Lord before we go. Somebody who can speak in, uh, if you can speak in the uh, uh unknown languages, go ahead. Begin to use your heavenly language. Amen. Uh, Father, we give you praise this morning. Father, we give you glory this morning. We magnify you today, O oh God, because of all that you have said and all that you have done. Father, I thank you today, Father God, for 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 allowing me, Father God, to be a humble vessel. I thank you today, O oh God, that the word that you have spoken. And the word that you have laid on my spirit, the word that you have placed on my heart today, Father God, I have given it to your people today, Father God. I pray today, Father God, that they will not only be hearers of the word today, Father God, that they will also be doers of the word, Father God. And as they partake in the word, Father God, that they will begin to change even in their spirit, oh God, even in their minds, Father God. We pray today, Father God, that your people, Father God, will, 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 will begin, Father God, to accept their hidden season, Father God, that they will begin, Father God, to accept their hidden season and remain in you father god until you release them father god i pray father god that this word father god will inspire father god that it will edify father god your people in the name of jesus father we glorify you we magnify you in the name of your son jesus christ i pray father god that your people, Father God, will gain, Father God, uh, get the strength that they need, Father God, to stay in their waiting season, Father God, and that they will not come out before their uh, 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 time. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we glorify you for everything that you've said, everything that you have done. Father, I thank you for those that have tuned into this broadcast. I pray that you may bless them in a, in, in, in a special way today, Father God. Those that took the time to share the broadcast, I pray that you bless them in a special way today. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory in Jesus' name that we pray. Guess what? If you want to be a blessing to the ministry, we are going to be doing the uh, Walking into Destiny, Finding Your Purpose uh, uh, Conference 2017. And that is going to take place at the end of the month. If you want to be a blessing to the ministry, if you feel led to be a blessing to Walking into Destiny, you can contact me. I can give you the account information on how to sow into the ministry if you want to be a blessing into the ministry. I just felt that in my spirit to say, I don't like to ask, but whenever the um, um, it is in my spirit, then I just say it. So if you want to sow into the ministry and you feel led to be a blessing to the ministry, go ahead and box me. I will give you the information on how you can be a blessing in the ministry. We are going to be um, going to be in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Um, in a few days, we're going to be doing the Walking into Destiny uh, roundtable discussion. We're going to be doing the conference. Uh, there's 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 two events that we're doing in Grand Bahama, and then we're going to be moving back here to. Uh, uh, Abaco, where are we going to do a week of revival service? Uh, a week of revival service here in Abaco. Uh, so listen here. Thank you, Pauline. God bless you. Um, so, so if you feel led to be a blessing into the ministry, go ahead, contact me after uh, uh, the live feed, and I will give you the information. Uh, if you feel led to, to do anything within the uh, ministry, go ahead, contact me. I will give you more information. Like I said, um, uh, um, hello, Stephanie. Um, good to see you. Um, like I said, if you want to be a blessing, go ahead, contact me, inbox me. For those of you that um, um, already pledge a seed and you have have not yet meet that um 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 you have not yet made that obligation, go ahead, contact me, and we can talk further on how you can go about doing that. Amen. Listen, like I said, I don't like to ask, but when the Spirit of the Lord um, impressed upon me to do so, then I do so. Amen. I do so. So listen here. 
I'm going to be in Freeport next week. I'm going to be doing some promotion, some advertisements, advertisement. Look out for me if you have not yet um, gotten your ticket for the roundtable discussion. It is only $30. And along with your ticket, it comes with a Walking Into Destiny t-shirt for the ladies. It comes with a Walking Into Destiny t-shirt along with a, um, when you come into the um, um, discussion, um, you will have a notepad, your pen, in order to, to, to ask your questions and to uh, take notes. All of that will be made available for you for the roundtable discussion. The conference itself is free of charge. All I ask is that you bring a love um, um, offering. It is free of charge. Bring yourself, bring your husband, bring your boyfriend, bring your um, um, girlfriend, bring your friends, bring your co-workers. Come to the conference and receive what it is that God has for you. For many of you, um, um, and you don't know what your purpose is. You don't know what it is that God has called you to do. And it is it, it is on the inside of you. So come on at the conference. Let, let us pull that um, purpose out of you. Amen. Let us pull that purpose purpose out of you so that you can begin to walk into your um destiny so blessings to all of you like i said contact me after the um uh broadcast if you want to or if you are led uh to sow into the ministry blessings to all of you i hope that this was a blessing to all of you have a good day continue to enjoy um um see you on the 28th tamara see you on the 28th i can't wait to see um uh, most of you i can't wait to see um um you guys because most of you um like i said um in our earlier broadcast, I know you on Facebook, but I don't know you personally. So it would be so good uh, to meet all of you in person on the 28th or on the 22nd of um, July. So see you at the end of the month. Blessings to all of you. I pray that the Lord uh, keeps you. He strengthens you and that he open up the storehouse of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you do not have room to um, 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 uh, contain. And all of you that have already sowed into the ministry you all come on man send the testimonies i know some things happening in your in your in your life for most of you um uh, uh, um the lord spoke a word into your marriage come on man send the testimony don't be like those um what they was i don't know those fellas that jesus healed and then he sent them away and only one came back to say thank you i don't want you to come back to say thank you to me but i i do want you to come back and and, and say what it is that the lord has done for you it it, it does not um um it will not uh, uh edify me mava but it edifies god it shows other people that god is still in the miracle working business it shows other people that god says something he mean what he says and he performs it amen so go ahead continue come come and testify let the people know what god is doing for you because for many of you uh, um, um i said some things reference to your marriages reference to your children reference to um, um um funds reference to checks being released and most of you you've been receiving those things most of you you've begin to walk into um your calling reference to entrepreneurship most of you, you open up your business come on you got begin to testify what the lord has done for you unless god say okay he's doing something in your life do not talk about it as yet come on you you got to testify come on you your testimony is so important and crucial because it edifies those that don't quite believe amen so listen here blessings to all of you if you want to sow into the ministry contact me after the broadcast and i give you more information blessings